back everyone, this is one Phoenix Wright, Trials and Tribulations, and we, we are continuing on with the final day of the trial in the case against Sister Iris, and in case you guys did not watch the last episode, I'm not even going to tell you what happened, I, I mean, you have to watch that episode even before you watch this one, so if you haven't watched the last one, I would strongly suggest doing so, but as of right now, I'm just going to go ahead and get headfirst into this uh, uh, final day of the trial. But before I do that, I hope you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys are doing well. So without further ado... February 10th, 1.06 p.m. District Court, courtroom number 7. Now then, let's continue where we left off, shall we? Well, witness? Yes? How can I help you, Mr. Judge? Well, it seems that we're, if we're to learn the truth, we'll need to hear your testimony. I have no problem with that, but when you've seen what I have, sometimes the truth is better left unknown. In any case, let's hear your testimony. Tell us about the plan that was carried out that night. Witness testimony, the plan. The whole plan began with my death. A stupid plan hatched by Morgan Fay to install her own daughter as the next master. But for it to work, Maya Fay would first have to die. The idea was for me to kill Maya and then have the blame pinned on Iris. The plan went wrong, but it seems to have succeeded anyway. So, so that means you really are- Wait a minute. Did you just say the plan was to kill Maya Fay? Yes. You have a problem with that? Don't give us that nonsense. There's no way that- Watch yourself, Trey. If you've got a problem, solve it during cross-examination. That's one of my rules. We're gonna go ahead and save. Mr. Godot is correct. And by the way, that's one of my rules as well. To kill Maya? Could it be true? Cross-examination. The plan. Whole plan began with my death. You were executed last month, correct? Yes, I was hanged. It wasn't exactly pleasant. How did you manage to discuss the plan? When did you talk with Morgan Fay? Last year, she was transferred to the same detention center as me. Since I was on death row and she was my mother, it was actually pretty easy to meet with her. I see. So that's when you discussed the plan? Ah, are you crazy? At first that woman was planning to kill me as well, even though I'm her own daughter. All to make Pearl Fay the master of crime? She's a cold, twisted woman. She thought she could finally regain her lost honor. The honor she lost when her younger sister, Misty, took her place as the master. Ever since that day, she's been working on this plan. Hmm, a plan, huh? Stupid plan hatched by Morgan Fay to install her own daughter as the next master. You talk about Pearl Fay, is that correct? Yes, though at first she had high hopes for the two of us. You and your twin sister, Iris? That's correct. Fortunately, neither of us had much spiritual power. That's why we were abandoned by her. Along with our father. Uh, abandoned? The only person I ever really cared about in life was myself. My sister was a nuisance, so I convinced my father to leave her at an old temple. You mean Iris? Yes, my father remarried a woman who also had a daughter. The less children you have, the more money there is to go around, right? And on top of that, my father had absolutely no interest in children in general. How horrible. The real, really horrible one was that woman. That bitter, vengeful woman. It was her stubbornness that gave birth to that child, Pearl Fay. She was born with an abundance of spiritual power, unfortunately for her. Morgan Fay heaped all of her broken hopes and dreams onto that poor child's back. All because of her pathetic dreams of having her bloodline become the main family. But for it to work, Maya Fay would first have to die. Maya would have to die? But why? For our bloodline to succeed as the main family, thus making Pearl the new master, the remaining descendants of the current master had to be taken care of. But Pearls would never agree to a plan like that. She adores Maya. How sad. You still don't get it, do you? What Pearl wanted had nothing to do with it. Morgan didn't care one bit about Pearl. The only thing she cared about was the position of the master. That's all. Th that's ridiculous! She was willing to sacrifice anything and anyone to achieve her goal. The life of her daughter, and naturally the life of Maya Fey as well. 
How could anyone do that? The idea was for me to kill Maya and then have the blame pinned on Earth. You, you, you were going to kill Maya? Who didn't need to know anything about it? All she had to do was to follow the instructions in the letter and channel me. Then I would have simply used her body and finished the job. In any case, I'm already dead and there's nothing any of you can do to me. Ugh. So the plan was to blame the crime on your younger twin? On Sister Iris of Hazakura Temple. She and I look absolutely identical, no one can tell us apart. If someone would have witnessed me killing Maya, naturally they would think it was Iris that had done it. And the witness in this case was the head nun, Sister Bikini. I never would have guessed she was going to return to Hazakura Temple that night. But, she wound up seeing Iris' crime anyway. But why did you want to pin the murder on Iris in the first place? She's your twin sister, isn't she? Twin sister? Don't make me laugh. She's nothing but a backstabber. I couldn't care less about her. Backstabber? You just don't understand. You never will. Anyway... The plan went wrong, but it seems to have succeeded anyway. You think the plan was a success? You heard me. Just as that woman had hoped. Maya Faye is dead. Now the title of the Master will pass on to Pearl Faye. Th that's absurd. M Maya is just... She's just trapped. Trapped inside a sacred cavern. Really? You're as foolishly optimistic as ever, aren't you? My darling Feeny. Don't you want to know the truth? Ever since we met, I've despised you. Your sniveling naivet naivety and your pathetic faith in other people. I just want to know one thing. What did you personally think of Morgan Faye's plan? I told you already, didn't I? It was a stupid plan. It had no point, no value other than fulfilling her own greedy desires. Yes, it was certainly nothing to be proud of. If that's how you feel, why did you help her carry it out? Why would you do it? Why would you kill Maya? You may not understand that, being the kind of gentle soul that you are, you may not be able to appreciate why someone like me would help a woman like that. So then tell me, why? Isn't it obvious? I'm not like that woman. I only act on my own self-interest. The reason I helped her was... For myself. For my own personal satisfaction. What did you say? So this woman, Dahlia Hawthorne, she had her own reason for wanting Maya dead? Do you understand why I would kill Maya Faye now? What my goal was? Well, I think I do understand. And it's because of her. Could it be? That your actual goal had nothing to do with Maya Faye herself? As I said, none of you have the power to punish me anymore. Because I'm already dead. Well, I had the same problem, you see. You can't punish the dead, and you can't take revenge against them either. You, you wanted to take revenge on someone? I was sentenced to die because of that woman. Mia Faye. I somehow knew this was it. I wanted to send her a message. It was at her hands that I suffered my first humiliation. I wanted her to feel the same pain she made me feel. Sadly, when I realized revenge was impossible, I gave up. And the reason it was impossible? Was it perhaps because many of they had already died? Yes. And I realized there's only one way to take revenge against the dead. And how would you do that? Even when the body dies, the spirit, the ego, it lives on forever. I wanted to take away the person that Mia Faye loved most. I wanted to kill her with my own hands. That would be the one and only way I could take my revenge against Mia Faye. That was the reason I helped out with that woman's plans. Just for that? For that you would kill Maya? Your goal was no different than that of Morgan Faye. As they say, the apple doesn't fall far, far from the tree. What a cruel plan. Cruel, cold, and heartless. Oomph. Don't waste your time preaching to the dead. I've already told you, there's not a thing you can do to me. <laughs> that night... At about 9.30pm, I materialized into this world. I quickly pinned my hair up, 
and put on a demon wording hood. Then I picked up the staff that was by my side and left Hazakura Temple. So, it was at least Donum who channeled her after all. That ridiculous head nun never noticed a thing. She left Maya Fey at her day in her temple, and wobbled back clutching her poor old back. Well, what did you do then? That kid was easier to handle than I had hoped. I caught up with her in front of the stone lantern. Then I took out the dagger I got from the storeroom and... So, so then you... You're saying you stabbed Maya? It's strange, but... I don't have a clear memory of what happened after that. What does that mean, no clear memory? I don't know. I think... I think I, I was stabbed. You were stabbed? At the last minute, Maya Faye must have stabbed me. I'm sure of it. Objection! That's not like her at all. Maya wouldn't stab a french fry with a plastic fork. Anyway, I suddenly lost consciousness. But before I did, I scrawled her name on the lantern. Just as I was passing out, I wrote Maya behind my back. I had hoped it would cast suspicion on her. I can't believe she was thinking that until the bitter end. That's where my memory temporarily stops. It stops? I don't have any memory of actually killing my F.A. with my own two hands. My very last memory was... Maya's terror-filled eyes. When I woke up after that, I was in a sacred cavern surrounded by darkness. You were in a sacred cavern? The entrance was sealed with one of those trick locks. Somehow I had been trapped in there. But how did you wind up in there? I'd like to know that myself. Anyway, I was worried. I didn't know whether or not Maya Fey was dead. And I swore I wouldn't return to the underworld until I knew I had killed her myself. Hmm. For a ghost, you want tough cookie. I wanted to get out of there and make sure she was dead. But, I couldn't do it. I couldn't get out. The trick lock stopped you, huh? I didn't know how to remove it. So then you're saying? You were actually confined against your will inside the sacred cavern? Yes, I wanted to get rid of that annoying lock as soon as possible. But it wasn't easy. I kept getting interrupted while I was working on it. Interrupted? It was early in the morning, but somehow gate came in, someone came into the training hall. What? Who? Could it have been Maya? I thought the same thing, but I couldn't see. Why not? If someone had spotted me, I would have lost my chance to take revenge, so I made sure to hide myself while at the back of the sacred cavern. That morning, only two people could have gone in the training hall. Maya and... Pearls. Pearls went there to cover the hanging school and gravy. Still, I finally managed to remove the lock, but... I was too late. What do you mean by that? The flies had already started to gather. The bridge had been fixed and the police had started the investigation, correct? Naturally, I couldn't go out. So instead, I returned to the cavern and put the lock back on myself. I realized I wouldn't get a chance to see Maya's corpse that I had hoped. But just then, Lady Luck showed up. Lady Luck? After that big earthquake, she showed up all by herself. The real Iris? She said she'd come to make sure the sacred cavern was alright. Stupid girl. I came from the sacred cavern and got a feel for the situation. And I locked her away in my place. I had finally learned exactly what had happened. It was then that I learned that the plan had actually succeeded. What do you mean your plan has succeeded? I had misunderstood one thing, you see. That night, the one that had summoned me, I had assumed that it was Pearl Fay. Well, of course you would have assumed that. It was written in the instructions. But, I was wrong. The person that had actually called my spirit back was... Missy Fay, the picture book author. But what? Well, that's really the only possibility, isn't it? After I lost consciousness in the garden, it was her body that was left lying there. 
Maya Faye. I wasn't able to kill her with my own hands after all. But even so, I made her commit the most vile sin a human can commit. And that is? Matricide. The sin of killing her own mother. Ugh. No way! Well, order, order in the court. What is the meaning of this? It's true that I was the one who attacked Maya Faye. But even so, the murderer who actually snuffed out Misty Faye's life was none other than... Your darling little Maya. R ridiculous. That's nonsense. Are you sure about that? Just think about it. There's even evidence supporting these facts, isn't there? What? What do you mean? What is this so-called evidence? The fact that Maya Faye had disappeared is evidence enough, isn't it? Huh? The idea that she's still in the sacred cavern is just ridiculous. She wasn't able to escape from the inner temple, that much is obvious. In that case, there's only one place she could be. But where? Do I have to spell it out? The bottom of the Eagle River. Where else? R Eagle River? Maya Faye killed her long-lost mother. Can you imagine the guilt she must have felt when she realized that? That's why she threw herself into the Eagle River. Most bodies that wind up in there are lost forever. So, what do you have to say now, Feeny? Oh, uh... Oops. Sorry, that's my phone. What kind of ringtone is that? Godot here. Okay, thanks. Well, was it something important? They just finished removing the locks from the sacred cavern. That's great! What about Maya? There was a woman in the cave. Was it Maya Faye? It was the accused. Sister Iris. Huh? Don't look so surprised. I locked her in there yesterday. I just finished telling you that. So, what about Maya? Where is she? There was no one else found inside the sacred cavern. No. It, it can't be. I told you, didn't I? She's dead. No. No! It seems that this case has come to an end. A tragic end. Sadly, it appears the killer of Elise Donham, also known as Mr. Faye, was her own daughter, Maya Faye. Overcome with guilt for what she had done, Maya Faye jumped to her death into the raging waters of the Eagle River. It can't be. Ha! Trite. Have you ever heard this one? Once you eliminate the impossible, uh, the impossible, whatever remains must be the truth. No matter how improbable it may seem. Well, what is that supposed to mean, Prosecutor Godot? According to this witness, Maya Faye threw herself into the Eagle River. However, is that really the truth? Remember, this woman testified earlier that the bridge was already on fire when the murder was taking place in the garden. Which means if Maya had thrown herself into the river, it must have been from the inner temple side near the bridge. That's right, that's where she jumped from. But that's impossible. It's impossible to jump into a river from there. But what? Don't get your panties all twisted up, Trey. Just relax and think through the whole thing again. So it's impossible? Maya couldn't have thrown herself into Eagle River? Well, Mr. Wright. Miss Hawthorne claims Miss Faye threw herself into the river from the inner temple side. Do you have any evidence that refutes this claim? 
I think I do. Where is it at? It's impossible to jump into the Eagle River from the Inner Temple side. No one knows that better than this witness. What did you say? Eleven years ago, you jumped into the very same river. Just take a look at this overhead map. As you can see, below the cliff on the Inner Temple side is a big rock shelf. Oh! Oh! You're right! She wouldn't have reached the river if she had jumped off from there. In other words, if she had jumped, we should be able to see her body in this photo. Ah! Huh, so you finally figured it out. You. No! But order, order! You, you're just playing with me. My FA's body is, is at the bottom of that Eagle River. There's nowhere else she could possibly be hiding. Miss Hawthorne, have you ever heard this one before? Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains must be the truth? Yes, yeah, just a few minutes ago. My F.A. was inside the sacred cavern. We now know that she didn't throw herself in the Eagle River. Correct. That eliminates all the most likely possibilities. Now, although it seems improbable, there's still one other place she could be. What? What is this one possibility you were talking about? That's obviously a bluff. So where is her dead body then? Finally, I think a piece is falling into place. Normally the living have no way to punish the dead. But I think there is a way to give Dolly a Hawthorne the ultimate punishment. Shall I tell you, Miss Hawthorne? Shall I tell you where Maya is this very instant? Maya Fay is this very courtroom. There's only one possibility left. Namely, she's right here in this very courtroom. What? Maya Fay is here? You say she's here in my courtroom? Dahlia Hawthorne, I seem to recall that you said, I had misunderstood one thing you see. So what? But I think there's one more thing you misunderstood. What do you mean? Tell me something. At this very moment, who was channeling Dahlia Hawthorne? But why that? That's obvious! That's Pearl Fay, that pathetic little sniveling runt. You're wrong. Pearl's trying, but she couldn't do it. I've never failed at channeling someone. This is the first time it's happened. Isn't there any explanation for why you couldn't channel a spirit? Could happen if someone else was already channeling the same spirit. Someone called me before Pearl did? But who? Pearl's even tried again on the day after the crime, but she couldn't do it. What could that mean? I think the truth is coming clearer to you right, right about now, am I correct? Ah! It wasn't Pearls that channeled you. There was someone who called you before she could. And that person is Maya Fay. This is an easy one. Pearls couldn't do it, and Misty Fay is gone. There's only one possibility left. Come on already. I can't stand attention. Dahlia Hawthorne, the person channeling you right now must be Maya Fay. What? But how could that be? Remember what this witness Dolly Hawthorne said about her goal. She said that her goal was to kill Maya Fay. Yes, that's right. But if Maya channeled the spirit of someone that was trying to kill her. <laughs> well, Gramps, what would happen? Could it be? It looks like you finally understand, Your Honor. Well, I don't. What are you going on about? What I'm going on about is the reason Maya channeled you, and there's only one reason. To protect herself from you. To protect herself from me? Yes. On the night of the crime, you were only interested in one thing. Killing Maya Fay. The path back to Hatsukura was closed off, and there was nowhere for her to run. So then the problem became, where would be the safest place to hide? Ah! Ah! 
You, you, you mean... That's when she channeled me? All this time you thought you had been channeled by pearls. That's why it never occurred to you. That Maya's hiding place was you. N no, no. Don't say that. You're saying that I, Dahlia Hawthorne, was played for a fool by that little whelp? Maya Faye killed herself, isn't it obvious? Objection! Sorry, but no. It would have been impossible for her to jump into the Eagle River. That w this was the only avenue of escape open to Maya. The only way that Maya could disappear from the Inner Temple. Uh, I don't believe you. A stupid little girl like that who has never been out in the real world. She could never have come up with a plan like that. Who could have ever given her such a brilliant idea? Well, Mia, of course. Uh oh, but Mia, Mia Fey. It's been a long time, Dahlia Hawthorne. So it's true. It was you. Yes. Ha. Huh. You're something else. But 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 what? What are you doing here? That hair. It's pearls, right? Tell me something, Dahlia. I want you to think back to that night one more time. You had just cornered Maya in the, in the temple's garden. And then, in the final moments of the fight, you lost consciousness. I was stabbed by Maya Faye. Actually, Maya lost consciousness at the same time as you. She did? Not terribly surprising since she was about to be killed. When she woke up, she was in the training hall. That's when Maya decided she needed help, so she channeled me. She explained in a memo that situation she was in. She asked me what I thought she should do. She did that? It can't be it. Of course, I didn't have all the details. But, one thing was perfectly clear, and that was, I knew that you couldn't be allowed to wander free. Free? What do you mean? It was a race against time, so I wrote down two things that Maya had to do. Channel Dahlia Hawthorne as soon as possible, and lock herself in the sacred cavern until her help arrived. So it was Maya who put that lock on there. Yes, but why did you order her to do those two things? If she hadn't done it... Dahlia Hawthorne would have been channeled by someone else. By one Pearl Fay. Pearls? Yes, Pearl didn't properly understand the plan, so all she was trying to do was follow her mother, Miss Morgan Fay's instructions. If she had succeeded in channeling Dahlia Hawthorne's spirit, things would have turned out very badly, to put it mildly. So that's how it was. Dahlia Hawthorne would have used the body of Pearl Fay to kill Maya at all costs. Yes, yeah, yeah, so it certainly sounds like that was the intent all along. How dare you? Well, I won't forget this. Why not just admit it, Dahlia Hawthorne? Your little plan was nothing but a big failure. Yes, another failure to add to the power of shame, wouldn't you say? What, what do you mean by another? Think about it, Dahlia. Remember all your past crimes? Not a single one of them was a success. They all ended in failure. What? How dare you? Eleven years ago... The fake kidnapping, your very first crime. You got your hands on a two million dollar diamond, but... After Terry Falls escaped and went to meet with Valerie Hawthorne, the truth was exposed. Just shut your mouth! That wasn't my fault! It was because of that stupid oaf of a prisoner and that weakling of a policewoman. And then, one year later, you tried to kill me. Well, I'm still alive, but... You wound up killing someone else.
As a result, you were sentenced to death. It's one stupid move after another for you, but it's no longer funny. You! Wipe that smug, happy-go-lucky smile off your face! And now this. You've messed up again. You let Maya Faye escape, even though she was right there in front of you. Mia Faye. Mia Faye. Mia Faye. Mia Faye. You. You spinster. I was supposed to kill Maya Faye like I swore I would. And if only I'd gotten a spiky head jerk the guilty verdict, I wouldn't have been hanged to death. True. But I think you finally understand, Dolly Hawthorne. You will never defeat me. What? What did you say? Whether you're alive, dead, or somewhere in between, you will never defeat me. As long as I'm around, you're destined to lose for all of eternity. I remember what you said earlier in the trial. You said there was no way we could punish you. Because you're already dead. What about it? Then you said, even when the body dies, the spirit, the ego, it lives on forever. That's very true, Dahlia. And that's exactly the punishment you'll never be able to escape from. For all of eternity, you'll, all, you'll have to remain as Dahlia Hawthorne. Hey there, recorderometer. A miserable, pathetic, weak creature who can never win at anything. And for you, there is no escape from that. No hope for freedom since the day you were executed. The narrow bridge that once stretched out in front of you has burnt to a crisp. You, 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 oh. You're wrong. It can't be. How could I lose to the likes of you? It no longer matters. I don't care whether you win or lose anymore. The only thing I want is for you to come out of Maya's body right now. Whoa. I'm not ready. Not ready to go. Wow. And it's shaped like a Magatama, too. Oh, hey there, Maya. Nick. Sis. No, then. I assume you are the real Iris? Yes, I was just rescued from the Sacred Cavern. I must say you and your twin sister are indeed identical from what I can see. In any case, it appears that everything has finally been cleared up. Mr. Godot, what happened to Dahlia Hawthorne? If you ask me, Your Honor, it looks like she went back to the hell she came from. Hmm. It seems that Mr. Fay wasn't the only victim of this crime. Maya Fay, as well as the young Pearl Fay, were also victims of this wicked and selfish plan. Yes, Your Honor. The tragedy of Medium Valley has finally come to an end, it seems. It would be best for everyone and if no further attempt was made to channel that spirit again. Um, Your Honor? Yes, what is it? About this whole spirit medium thing. It's almost weird how comfortable you seem to be with the concept now. Well, to be frank, my younger brother is quite judgmental. He often criticized me for st not studying hard enough. That's why I made a concerted effort to study up on the crime channeling technique. Hey, isn't that the New Year's issue of Oak Alt? 
I've seen quite a few things in my many years on the bench, and in all that time I finally learned this one thing. Each case is different, and takes place in its own world, if you will. In order to fully understand that world, first we have to immerse ourselves in it completely. And that's where my brother and I used to differ. Hmm, never thought of it that way. At any rate, it's time to pass judgment in the case of Iris of Hazakura Temple. Objection! What? You're a little too fast with that gavel, Your Honor. What do you mean by that, Mr. Godot? This child, it isn't, it isn't over yet. That's what he means. But what? Trait. Remember what Miss Evil Spirit said in her testimony? Huh? Dahlia's testimony? I caught up with her in front of the stone lantern. Then I took out the dagger I got from the storeroom, man. It's strange, but... I don't have a clear memory of what happened after that. I think... I think I was stabbed. Just as Dahlia Hawthorne was about to attack Maya, she was stabbed and killed by someone. You yes, that's right. The person that was ultimately killed was the spirit medium that channeled Dahlia. At least Donum. No, Misty Fay. But, who killed her? We still don't know who did it. But th this isn't over? Unless someone else is found guilty, the accused is still on trial. We can't let her walk until there's evidence that proves her innocence. N no way. But this court isn't prepared for any further testimony. The prosecution is ready to call our final witness. A final witness? This one will clear up the whole mystery. The mystery of who killed Misty Fay. Hmm, indeed. Is it really alright, Mr. Prosecutor? Of course it's alright, Madam Attorney. Very well then. Who was this final witness? Huh, isn't it obvious? There's one person who saw the whole event and will put the final dagger in this case. So someone who saw the murder take place? The very person who saw her mother killed in front of her very own eyes. Y you you mean Maya? You can't. She can't testify after what she's just been through. We need to find the truth. The prosecution calls Maya Faye to the witness stand. Very well. But first, we'll take a brief recess. We'll have to wait for Miss Faye to recover before summoning her. Once we receive the doctor's permission, we will proceed with the trial. Hey, Trey, I've got something to say to you, so listen up. What is it? I don't think much of you as a lawyer. It's always the same with you. You somehow manage to just squeak by without even a faint understanding of the case. Some beautiful woman always seems to come dashing in at the last minute to save you. You've got some nerve. But that's not going to happen this time. This time, you're going to have to do this by yourself. And with that, we are going to end things off here. But the next time I'll see you guys, we will be listening to Maya Faye, who will be taking the witness stand. So, hope you guys are looking forward to that. But thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.